So, somebody at AMC, the movie theater chain, had a genius idea. About a week or two ago, they must have pitched it. They said, listen, we know movie going attendance is way, way down. We know we let people run roughshod over the theater. We know we are just the biggest jackholes on the planet. We charge $12 for a fucking ticket. And uh, we charge, you know, like... A, $100 now for a bottle of water. How can we make more people come to the movies? How can we How can we do it? I have an idea. Let's make the movie-going experience even shittier than it already is. Who's with me? All right, great. Um, what can we do to really annoy our audience? What's the one thing that we can do? Oh, I got it. You know how we never stop anybody from talking or texting? Let's encourage it, right? Let's encourage people to text. Say it's completely fine. And then that way, nobody has to watch the movie and everybody else that came there to watch the movie can be completely annoyed. I'm a genius. I'm going to go get a new Ferrari. The fuck? Are you kidding me? The, what, I can't even with this one. Seriously, like, uh, what? why are you? This happens all the fucking time. And if you're one of these assholes, I already hate you. If you're already texting at the fucking movies, why are you at a movie? Why the You are looking at a different screen. That's fucking retarded. If you're looking at a different screen and there's something else playing right in front of you, why are you there? Go outside, be on your fucking phone, go see the movie some other time. Wait till it comes to your fucking house and you can sit there and be a complete retard and play on your phone and then pretend to watch the movie and look up every five seconds. Look, why they would even consider that is fucking insane to me, but they did. Luckily, people got pissed off and they said, fuck you, we will never, ever go to the movies now. I mean, we don't go anyway. We pirate shit because you guys are a bunch of dicks. But even if we thought about it on the random Saturday night, now that you even had that idea, the, the fuck right here. And I agree with them 100%. But you know what? It's been leading this way because, like I said before, nobody does anything. First off, let's address the people who text and they're at the movies. You are not that goddamn important. You're not. Everybody has, like I've said before in many other videos, people have this sense of self-fucking importance now that the, the world can't wait for their new Facebook post or the world can't wait for, oh, wow, this movie's really good. Let me write what's happening right the fuck now while I stare over here. And by the way, did I show you this picture of my cat farting? Look, it's really great. I put a tampon in her too and I put a funny party hat on the bitch. Look, do you want to see it right now while everybody else is trying to watch the fucking movie? Stop it. I don't want to see that shit. I'm going to throw shit at you. I swear to God. <laughs> okay. I do do it. I'm not even going to lie. I'm not, you'll know, you won't know it's me. Well, you might know now. I don't know. But fucking, you're on your phone and shit like that. You're going to get a popcorn kernel right at your fucking head. You're going to look like a fucked up homeless person when you walk out of the theater with, especially if you're a chick and you've been texting all day, you're going to have long hair and a bunch of popcorn and fucking pieces of straw that I've been sitting, I'm going to spit on my finger too and flick that shit at you because I hate you that much. You're ruining my fucking life. Stop it. And you, people, and texters love to do this thing where they're like, well, why don't you just watch the movie? Why, don't you, hey, why is this little light bothering you? Why is this little light bothering you? Because I can fucking see it. I'm not fucking blind, you bitch. I can see, the, and especially if there's more than one person doing it, and it's usually a group of people doing it. It's usually like one or two people who are sitting right the fuck next to each other. And you know these retards are having a text conversation with one another, even though they can't be bothered to talk. To the person right the fuck next to them. They have to sit there during the movie like, this movie is great. Do you love this movie? Yes, I love this movie too. What do you want to do after this? We should go home and we should fuck. Oh, I'm down for that too. Uh, yay. And let's not use protection. Okay, that sounds great. No, stop it. But the movie theaters have been getting a little crazy anyway because what if they've done this thing where they've opened up certain theaters. I can't say it's here in Chicago yet. I think it's other places where they have mom theaters in the morning. You know, the mom... The, we, we treat these bitches way too important. Look, mothers have a hard job. I'm going to say it right now. Moms have a really hard job, but it's a job they elected to take into. That didn't make any sense. It's a job they elected to take. It's by spreading their legs, getting knocked up, having a baby, they 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 agreed that they're going to have to take care of this little fucker. <laughs> they're going to have to work. Um, and of course, it's not easy to take care of a kid. Not that I know. I don't have any and I don't want any either. Fuck it. My kids would be the most abused, neglected kids on the planet. They would be eating cat food <laughs> out of the toilet because I would put it in the toilet just because they would be mean fuckers knowing how my DNA. They'd be the biggest little shitheads on the planet. I could never have kids. <laughs> never, ever, ever. I swear, the first one would come out and say, you know, fuck you. I would... I would pull his pants down and sit him on a hot burner <laughs> right on the oven like your little mother is that funny now and then he'd stab me in the middle of the night but that's a whole different story uh, but yeah but they have like um, mom movies basically where it's like before one or two and okay most people don't go to the movies before one or two but this is basically so moms can bring their babies and toddlers to run around while they relax have a mom's day and watch a movie together how much of a movie are you watching with your spastic ADD kid running around the movie theater with your baby clamped to your titty? 
<laughs> and 80 other babies sitting there whining intermittently, shitting, pissing, moms running out to go, you know, change the diaper and stuff like that. How is that a relaxing movie going experience for mom? What they should provide, the movie theaters should pay for babysitters to fucking put a fucking babysitting room in the movie theater. They have them at gyms for Christ's sake. They have them at a lot of places. I've seen them at hair salons and shit. But I mean, you, don't, you don't see that. They put a daycare. And I don't care if it's some big baby slapping crazed motherfucker who takes care of me either. Because quite frankly, some of those kids deserve a smack. <laughs> I know I deserved plenty of them. Speaking of which. See? See? This is why I don't have kids. You can hear the fuckers even when they're inside a brick building. <laughs> you can still hear them. They shouldn't be heard. I don't want to hear children. I don't appreciate them. I don't like anything about them. But yeah, so you got these moms going to the movies to relax, but basically just to annoy the piss out of each other. And then somebody thought up of the genius idea to have texting during the movies. Like, it's te- you know eventually it's going to go that route. You know it is. It, they, they squashed it now. People got pissed now. But with this newer generation, like the 12, 13-year-olds who are too stupid to realize any different, and just like, now fuck it, we just need to be on social media while we're watching a movie and while we're listening. They're going to be, like 20 years from now, people, it's going to be the norm for people to sit, watch a movie, listen to music at the same time, and text. I guarantee fucking it. 20 years from now, save this, that's going to be happening. I guarantee it. Because people are that fucking ADD as it is. And, you know what? Again, if you're going to try to make money, these pe- who runs these theaters that makes this decision that comes up with this genius idea in the first fucking place? Who said? That guy should be fired. Not only should he be fired, but somebody should take a shit Whoever's the biggest, fattest person at the movie company should take a fucking shit in the toilet, a steaming chili shit, and that person's face should be smeared into the chili shit, pulled up so they can beg for mercy, say, no, that was a dumbass idea you had, put them back in the chili face shit, face first again, while them around five times, then say, by the way, you are fired, no benefits, nothing, because the dumbest idea to allow texting in the movie theater, you fucking asshole, you, and then throw them out and hope they get hit by a car. That's how you take care of that shit. What you should do, movie theater companies, is, I don't know, do what like the Alamo Draft House does, Alamo Draft House does in Texas. One person texts, one per- you even look at your phone. They throw you the fuck out and shoot you in the head. All right, they don't shoot you in the head, but they throw you the fuck out. And I'm telling you, I would pay 20 bucks per ticket, per, to just have that peace of mind that I'm not going to run into some asshole, that I'm not going to run into somebody blabbing off at the mouth, or a thousand fucking lights, or somebody's going to be taking a selfie while a fucking movie's on. I would pay that. I'm a citizen who goes to the movies. I guarantee you many others would pay that. Just, It's basically, they should call it, you know, uh, a non-asshole fee. You don't have to deal with any assholes whatsoever. That's why you have to pay like $20, $25 a ticket. I fucking sign me up. That and put those leather seats in that recline and shit and I got no assholes there. I'll pay 30 bucks per ticket for the shittiest movie on the planet. <sighs> that just got on my nerves, so I had to say it. All right. I, no, the kids are out here still playing. I have to go get a box of tacks and like throw it out and hope they run around barefoot. So I'll see you later. <laughs>